Hey Star Wars fans, Budget Jedi here with a ramble vlog and sort of a follow-up to my latest video where I made the foam uh, Jabba's throne for the 6 inch scale here. Now I know you all know that Hasbro has made some really cool exclusives. Um, two years ago they made the San Diego Comic Con Boba Fett and Carbonite Han and then this past year they made the uh, Jabba's throne with armrest and salacious crumb. Uh, these are all really cool, but they left a lot of collectors out in the cold without these cool accessories. Like, I personally think Jabba looks really strange without his accessories um, on the throne. So, recently, I found a couple of places online and some people that make resin copies of these accessories. And that's what I want to share with you today. So, the first one I want to mention is Vader Painter Studios. Some of you, I'm sure, have heard of Vader Painter. He's uh, one of these professional level prop makers. He makes some of the best Star Wars props and costume parts I've ever seen. Um, he has a store on eBay. I'll put all his links um, in the description. So for the sake of showing you guys, I got myself a couple of samples from Vader Painter here. Uh, this is a comparison from the Hasbro and the Vader Painter. As you can see, the shape is pretty much the exact same on the side as well. It even has details of uh, the line that was originally on the uh, Carbonite Han from Hasbro. The only difference is really in the back here, where the Hasbro version is a hollow plastic with holes for mounting, and the Vader Painter copy, or the resin copy I should say, is just a block of resin. So it's going to be a lot heavier as well. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's a nice, nice copy. It's straight, there's no bending. Um, and actually it comes in this as you can see this light gray color which isn't really uh, an issue for me because uh, with a little bit of gray and silver dry brushing I can make it look exactly like the way Hasbro made theirs so I, I didn't happen to have the right green there but you know it's close enough for me and just to show you guys what I did here I just basically spray painted some gray and added some silver rubbing on the you know sort of the other parts here as of right now Vader Painter I believe lists his resin copy for $29.99 on eBay and that's shipped to you via priority mail so from the time you order it you'll get it in within like two days so that's really quick and um, you know his service is really great and I believe the quality is really great as well as you can see the way I see it if you buy the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Boba Fett and Carbonite Han from Hasbro on the secondary market it'll cost you up to ninety dollars but really the Boba Fett figure alone is only a twenty dollars figure so if you match it with uh, one of these resin copies you're really not spending more than fifty bucks but like I said, Vader Painter sells his stuff on eBay and he's very reachable through eBay. You can ask him any questions at all that you might have, including if he has plans to offer painted uh, resin copies or maybe even molding it in a color that's closer to the Hasbro one. Uh, you know, feel free to reach out to him directly through eBay. Another customizer that I found on Facebook actually is Old J Jaw Customs. He goes on Facebook uh, under the name of Malcolm Old J Jaw Herbatkin. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but he is a figure customizer with resin molding capabilities. I've never seen his stuff up close, but it looks like from the pictures that I'm showing here that the quality and color is actually pretty good for the price. And you might want to check with him in terms of availability. So if you're on Facebook, feel free to check him out. Now here's another very interesting place to get resin copies that I think you guys should know about. His name is Kurt Brown. He's on Facebook. And he's got a wide variety of resin copies for sale. The best one, though, has to be an actual Jabba's armrest. This armrest comes with an actual hookah bowl that is made from transparent plastic, as you can see. It goes right there. And also, it comes with this resin copy of the hookah pipe so you can actually put that on the Java if you have one and your Java's throne is complete here's a side-by-side -side comparison with uh, Hasbro's armrest 
I'm showing you guys here the Hasbro armrest is kind of like a goldish light bronze color and Kurt Brown's is more of a dark bronze color which in my opinion even without the paint touch-ups and the sanding that you might have to do it looks a lot better already you know it's got that nice shiny uh, finish to it and I think that's more uh, perfect for a Jabba's throne I would imagine it's very hard to cast this as the size is very large and um, you know it has both thick and thin parts but look at this result this is actually an unpainted sample from uh, Kurt Brown's store so again you know this is how it comes out lastly some of you might remember that I made myself a Jabba's throne last time and I used these used marker caps as the pull ornaments well this customizer that I know online paint samurai customs he makes these really awesome screen accurate Jabba's throne ornaments and they are made from resin he sells them in a set of six I believe so it's completely movie accurate because you have four in the front and two on the sides um, I think he sells a set for $25 right now um, and I'm showing you pictures of it be sure to check him out um, I'll put his link his Facebook link on the screen all right, so here's a quickie look at Kurt Brown's accessories on my Java setup. Looks fantastic. And uh, there's uh, the carbonite piece uh, posed with just a piece of tape that is rolled around itself. So a um, couple of things to keep in mind, guys. So first of all, all of the guys I mentioned today, uh, they're all basically collectors and fans. Um, they're not a huge factory uh, operation, so uh, just keep in mind, like I actually contacted all of them and, and asked for their permission to talk about their products today. Uh, they're real people and real parts of the community, um, so you can be assured I didn't um, recommend any links or stores that are just completely unknown to anyone. Um, but also, this means that prices, availability, and also range of products might change at any time so be sure to check with them and the good thing is that they're all very easy to reach from the links that I will be putting down below um, all of them will be very reachable through eBay or Facebook you can ask them any questions at all if they're making any new products if you would like them to make new products they'd probably be op open to that as well so be sure to check with those uh, links that I sent you and um, I hope you guys can find something you like. Other than that, uh, thank you so much for uh, watching. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you on the next one.